Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum. I feel like I was a bit harsh last episode. So if you should, I feel like I should clarify a couple of things. It's not so much that I hate this game. It's more like I don't see what the hype is about. Like I sort of played it, but I don't feel like it's, you know, the greatest thing I've ever played. I feel like other hacks are honestly better. So I was kind of confused whenever the, you know, whenever I played this and I saw the praise of God. And it just seems okay, and they, I just have a lot of like little problems with it. I guess it's mainly because I'm a, I guess, because I want to make my own Pokemon game, so I kind of see the flaws in everything more than I do see the positives. So, um, what I decided to do, since I've never actually beaten this game, I'm gonna play through it, and I'm gonna try my best to sort of, you know, pick out whatever it is that I hate and I that I actually like and sort of, you know, mention it here and there, but I'm not going to pass any complete judgment on this game, at least not seriously. Like, So if like they throw out a guy with like six level 100 Kyogres at me or something like that, and I scream out, I hate this game, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't mean it entirely, but you get the gist of it. So yeah, anyways, last time I got my first Pokemon, and I also got a Growlithe, where I didn't get the nickname. Which I guess isn't really too bad, because even though I love Growlithe, it's one of the few Pokemon that I never could find a nickname for. Like, there are a shit ton of Pokemon, like, I always name my Volturbs this mess, or however much of it I can actually fit. Like, I always have certain nicknames for certain Pokemon, but Growlithe being my favorite Pokemon, I can never find a cool love nickname. To the point where I have, like, six Growlithes with, like, pretty much the same movesets, but just slightly different names <laughs> and stuff like that. Just because I, I didn't know which one I would like. Why does this guy have a level 9... Several level 8 and 9 Pokemon. This is so unnecessary. I don't even have Pokeballs yet. Why are you throwing this nonsense at me? <laughs> I don't understand. Alright, fine. I guess this game is just more difficult than your average Pokemon game. Which I guess I don't mind. I just feel like they've done the difficulty wrong, I guess. They could have done it a little bit more efficiently. But fine, fine. I'll put up with it. Um... I went ahead and I trained up freaking, what's it called, Growlithe in the first route, and uh, for, route 401 I think it was. The only thing that kind of was kind of dumb is that <laughs> I fought a bunch of Pokemon that are a lot stronger, but in the wild they were only level 2 Pokemon, <laughs> which was kind of lame because it took me a while to level them up, but I got them up to level, I believe 9 it was, or I think it was 8, yeah I got them up to 8 and then I leveled them up battling this chick. I'm just going to go to the... Pokemon Center really quickly before I go farther. See, Gold! Feebas are in season now! They appear by the thousands at this time of year. Even although they are brave, they rarely attack people and rarely appear at other times. Very interesting, Professor. Thanks for the tip. I think I'll try and catch this one. Just <laughs> flopping around. <laughs> uh, wow, Professor, I fall in love with these Pokemon. I'll catch one right now. Go, Pokeball! Just kick that Pokeball over to that Pokemon. Wow, I captured Feebas. It looks like a good Pokemon. Huh? This Feebas is attacking me! Professor, I'll save you! Eventually. I don't know why they walk so slow. <laughs> I hope that they actually have running shoes in this game. That's starting to worry me that I'm walking so slow in like cutscenes and stuff. Alright, so we got a Feebas with freaking legendary Pokemon music. I don't know why when it's just gonna die to a bite attack. <laughs> I got a crit. I don't know if the crit mattered. Alright, uh, don't know what that was all about, but... I, I don't know if that was some sort of special Feebas, but I don't have Pokeballs, so it's not like I, like I could catch it or anything like that. Thank you! It's Cross! Professor Jasmine asked me to tell you that she's doing important research on the creation of the universe and needs your help. She wants to show you her results. She's in a lab in Yellowtown. Thank you, Cross. I'll head over there right away. Oh, this is my assistant, Gold. Nice to meet you, Cross. You look like a skilled Pokemon trainer. I hope we face off in the... I'll say the same thing to you. Well, I'll be on my way now. Thanks, Cross. Goodbye. Ugh, my back. Ugh, let's take our time, Gold. Ugh. 
Alright, so yeah, that's uh, Professor Oak. I kind of thought he was going to give us the Pokedex like he does in, um, what is it? Third generation? No, sorry. Second generation when you have to go to Mr. Pokemon, I think was his name. At like, it was like north of Cherry Grove City. Yeah. And you had to go, basically that's the first thing that Professor Elm tells you to do, which is why you get your Pokemon. And then afterwards he's like, well, I guess you can keep it and do whatever the fuck you want. Anyways, let's go ahead and head over to, uh, whatchamahoo's call it, back to Yellowtown. So that we can talk to uh, Professor Jasmine and let her know that we, well, did the shit she told us to do. <laughs> Basically. There we go. Hey, there's Oak. His hands look like he's, like, in handcuffs or something. <clears throat> Hi, P P P Oak. Welcome to my lab. Thanks, Professor Jasmine. Cross told me I had to come here quickly, so I'm here to learn about your research. Yes, Professor. With Cross's help, I've been studying ancient writings about the creation of the universe. They said that Arceus created the world and all the Pokemon. Incredible! This is actually related to my re latest research into Pokemon DNA. It seems all species have the same kind of... Same, 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 same... <laughs> <laughs> Here I thought I was messing up, but it's actually a typo. Have the same same trait in common. Yes, Professor. Right now, that's all I know. I'll send you the full document on the CD. Okay, Professor Jasmine. I'm going to, to my research center in Zypher. Zilfer. Zypher. Zypher. Zephyr. That place. Central City's radio center. Tower. So, damn it. <laughs> I can't read anything correctly. Let me know immediately if you have any problems. Okay. I don't know, my Professor Oak voice is like a mix of freaking James and Pegasus. <laughs> or yu -Oh. Good job, Cross. I registered you in the Thumper League. Now you can fight the gym leaders and become a powerful trainer. Congratulations and take care. Team Steam's still after you. Do you want to maybe give any uh, Pokedex or Pokeballs? Before I leave, here's a gift from me. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, woman. Chris Botol Pokeball in the ball's pocket. Pokeballs will capture many Pokemon and good luck on your journey. Uh, do you want to give me a Pokedex too? Nope, no Pokedex? Alright, that's fine. I don't really care too much for the Pokedex in Pokemon games, to be honest. I mean, I don't really plan on filling it up for, you know, something on my channel. Because that would just take forever to do. So I'm not even going to bother doing that. Alright, so moving on up. Go back to Central City. So now that I've done all of that, I'm assuming that I can go this way and sort of do stuff. Well, let me see what this is. This is Consus. All right. So you can do Consus in this game. That's cool. I'm obviously not going to do that right now. <laughs> and I believe this is the... If you would just get out of the way, sir. The Safari Zone. Yeah, so we can actually enter the Safari Zone already. I think you give me an item. You're Pokemon, yeah. You're a Pokemon trainer. I think I'll be able to use for this. Uh, so he gives you Focus Punch, which is okay, I guess. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with that right now. Oh, uh, let's go see what's in here in the Radio Tower. Welcome to the Radio Tower. The only inside helps people go in Pokemon and learn more every day. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, Pokeball. Used to catch Pokemon. Full potential. Wait, did you say something about a Diddle? I really like my Diddle. It's very cute and well-behaved. Oh, well, okay, that's cool. Um, we got some more random people. There we go. Hey, I think those are Pokedexes. Hey, Cross! I'm glad you came to my research center. I have a gift for you and Gold. It's a national dex, which you can use to find and record Pokemon to use on your journey. To use during your journey. I still don't know why they walk so slow. He has some crazy ass reach because he's just like turned and like freaking force pulled both the Pokedex into his hands. Because that was a, that's a big ass fucking table for you to reach over real casually and grab that shit. Well, Gold and Cross, now, with this tool, you can go on a magnificent journey through the self league. Good luck to both of you. Thanks, Professor. I'll be sure to train hard. Goodbye, Cross. One day we'll have a great battle. Alright, so I got the Pokedex. That's cool. I'm not sure if I've... I might have... I don't know if that was actually supposed to be something I had to do. Because I know, uh... Do you say anything? It's Rosalia. It's very friendly and proven, but it's also strong in battle. But you have a... Uh, Baneri next to you. <laughs> Whatever. Um, 
I don't remember if when I played the game I got the Pokedex. I probably did, because I don't know if that was actually important, if I really need to do that. But whatever. I guess I'll check out the Safari Zone, maybe? Uh, let's check it out real quickly. Welcome to the Safari Zone. Uh, we have two different areas. We got the Marsh and the Field. I think I'll go for the Field. Yeah, why not? Cost 500, take my, take my money. Alright, so we're here in the Safari Zone. Uh, I got some water here. Looking to strength, strengthen. Okay, because <laughs> the they look like to be a space between the G and the T. Strengthen my team in its habitat. Uh, do I actually battle? No, I don't. So I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Well, let's see if I can catch this. Nope. See if I can catch this. Nope. Let's see if I can catch this. Nope. Let's see if I can catch this. Nope. All right. I don't have a poke block. Go near. Let's see if I can catch this. Nope. All right. Whatever. <laughs> I just wanted to see what sort of Pokemon we have around here. Don't exactly remember. We got an Onish. Don't really want to train that. Since I have Bulbasaur, that'd be kind of pointless. We got a Pikachu. Uh, I don't want a Pikachu. I want a physical attacking Pokemon. Because I have two special attacking Pokemon. So I want something else. Ooh, a Nidoran. Female. That wouldn't be too half bad. Hey, great. Got a Nidoran female. Sweet. Um, Do I want to nickname you? Sure. I'm just going to call you Nina. Do, is my is everyone male? Yeah, everyone's a male. Uh, I don't know if I want to train a Nidorina, or rather a Nido King. Whoops, because I prefer Nido King. Nido King is badass. But I guess you know, to be honest, for a nice change of pace, it wouldn't be half bad if I trained a Nido Queen. So I guess I'll hang on to her. Ugh, I don't want to hop if. <laughs> I mean, hop it. Ooh, a Volby. That's actually pretty cool. See if I can go near it. Catch it. You sweet, I got a Volby. They tend to guard their posterior posteri posteriors with suitable bones that they have found. Hmm. Uh, its wings are too tiny to allow it to fly, yeah. <laughs> Things are really funny. Uh well, I'll just to call you Volby. I don't think I'm gonna be using that. I like Volby and what is it called? It's Evolution. I don't remember the name of it, but I think they're pretty cool Pokemon. But I don't think uh, I want to use it for this playthrough just because that's probably going to take a long time since it's a really like sort of defensively bulky Pokemon. So I don't think it's going to have like any sort of good attacking moves. <laughs> so I don't really want to deal with that in the beginning. Ooh, sweet, I need a ran. I'm just going to go ahead and catch one of those. And we're going to name it what I always name my... Or what I usually name my uh, Nido Rans. I call them Mr. Nido. Because in Fire Red or... Well, Fire Red, Leaf Green. I, I guess specifically Leaf Green because I think the trades are different in that game. I think that's it for the encounters. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Uh, that's not too bad. Well, this Fire game is over. Good timing. Uh, do I want to go again? I mean, how much money do I have? I have not too much. I guess I'm fine. I'll just stick with Nido Ran because I don't know what there's much else in the marsh area. Probably a Krogunk. I'm 100% sure about that, but I don't really care too much for Krogunk. Um, I'm pretty sure, now that I think about it, Nidoqueen um, is better actually... What the fuck, you have Moomoo Moo Milk? Uh, I think Nidoqueen is better with special attacks. So, huh. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll just use it. I said I'm going to use it, so I'm going to use it. I wish I could rename her to Miss Nina, or Miss Nita, <laughs> just to, you know, uh, for symmetry's sake, but whatever. Let's go ahead and go here to Route 402. Got here some grass, ooh, ah, oh, it's just a Shinx. I actually really like Shinx. Do I want to catch a Shinx? It has Intimidate, too. Um, but the only problem is that I'm really strong, so let me go into Nina, scratch it a couple of times. Ooh, sweet, poison it. Good job, babe. Uh, throw a Pokeball at Sweet, I got a Shinx. Shinx is all of its... Wait, what? Shinx all of its fur? What? <laughs> I, I hate it that sometimes I think I'm the one that's messing up, but it's actually the game that has a couple of typos. Fur is dazzles. It's dangerous if it's... Oh, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, Shinx. What do I name a Shinx? I'm going to name you... Lulario. Because you involved into Luxray. Uh, what else we got? A Glammeow? Eh, I don't like cats. 
Ugh, get away from me. You know Shinx is a cat, but <laughs> we're gonna pretend that that's not uh that's not the case. Just gonna ride and heal up real quickly. I think I'm gonna hang on to Shinx because I like Shinx a lot, and I don't really get the opportunity to use one. Ooh, cool, Caterpie. Because I don't really play fourth generation games often, so yeah. All you need to win our Pokemon and will to fight. Take on a bug catcher. Just burn all his bug Pokemon real quickly. Do 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 do. Speed through all this. <laughs> As I figured, I'm just gonna one shot through all this. Ooh, a Combi. You know, if I find Combi, I might actually catch one also. Because I actually like using uh, what's her name, Vespi Queen. So I might get one of those. We'll see. Move right along. Oh, hey, we got someone. I think that's Diamond. Do you battle? Hey, Pokemon, they're disgusting. On this route, though, the Pokemon are very nice. Uh, I just saw two bug Pokemon, so I don't know what you want to do about that, bro. Look! There seems to be a Pokemon drowning in the, o <laughs> the ocean. In the water. Hey, it's a Pichu. Why does Diamond get a Pichu? Well, it's a Pichu. It's drowning. I'll save it. It was kind of funny from the side. Wow, I'm glad you're okay, but I was a little worried. I was a little worried, but it, it looks like the Pikachu wants a reward with a battle? Okay. Uh, I mean, I have Pokeball, so at the very least I can catch this now. It's, uh, thankfully, it used Charm, so I don't have to worry about killing it instantly. Uh, unfortunately, my Poison Point isn't going to do anything, because Thundershock isn't a physical move, or rather, it doesn't make contact. So, whatever. Let's go ahead and use one more scratch. Nope, nope. Alright, fine. I'll just go into Lario, who can take a couple of Thunder Shocks. And I'll just chuck a Bokeh Ball at you. Hey, I caught a Pichu. Interesting. Um, uh, don't want to make me nah. I'm glad that's over with. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Diamond. I'm a trainer from the Shino region. I'm in the Sipfire League as a rookie. But I'm not one, really, see? Let's fight. Man, after I got owned by that. Pokemon, you want to fight me? Alright, so you got a Pidgey. Uh, well, I kind of wish I had leveled up Lario a little bit more, but he only has Tackle. You know what? Let me just switch into him. Lower his attack. Ouch, that didn't really do any damage. I don't know why I said ouch. Alright, so you're not going to do any damage, so I'm going to switch back. At the very least, I got you switch trained. Wait, oh man. I just realized that my Growlithe has uh, Flash Fire. Would have liked Intimidate a little bit better, but whatever. Sweet, you learned Leer. That's not useful at all. Um, alright, I'm gonna go into Yo Shokubutsu. Awesome, of course I'm paralyzed. Throw Elite Seed at you, throw Elite Seed at you, throw Elite Seed at you, there we go. So I can get some HP back. Um, alright. Ooh, Charmander. Ugh, balls. Um, alright. Um, what level is it? 12? Jesus. <laughs> Here I thought I was over leveled, but I'm clearly not. Uh, at the very least, maybe I can nope. Uh, Alright, so I, at least I know that this thing has a... Uh, um, its ember is useless at this point. Ooh, great! Critical hit! Awesome! Yeah, because I have flash fire, so I couldn't use it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to use a super potion <laughs> so I can survive, and then I should be able to get this thing with an ember. Great, great! Good job, Rolf! Well done! You're a great trainer! You deserve my congratulations and respect! My, con my congratulations on your victory. You really impressed me with your fighting strength. I have a great future. The wait, what? <laughs> I can't read anything. Ah, I'm so illiterate. You have a great future ahead of you. I hope to meet you again in the Zephyr region. And ask for you another battle. But for now, goodbye. I'm off to challenge the Zephyr gym in in Horror City. Right. <laughs> That's gonna do it for my shitty readings for today. I'll see you soon.